Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Faulkner and I'm an intern for Village Core. For other events like this, be sure to check out villagecore.org or check out our YouTube channel where we upload meetings so you can stay up to date on the latest in technology or other things of that nature. And today I'm joined by a special guest. I'm joined by my dog, Croissant, because in today's presentation, I will be talking about Rover, which is a dog service and cat service app that you can use on your phone, on your computer, which is for room and board, as well as different kinds of um, dog walking services and other things of that nature. So my little friend here, Croissant, and I have been together for quite a few years now, and she's reaching the age of 10, and we have uh, we have used Rover in the past, and so now I will be giving a presentation. So she's not very happy right now, so I'll put her down, and then we can jump right into this meeting. All right. So here we have Rover, uh, which is a service for dogs and cats in your local neighborhood. So as we can see here, we have kind of special uh, specifications as to what you can be inputted um, for Rover. So if I were, so since I have a dog, I would specify services for my dog. Um, and if I were to have a cat, I would specify services for my cat. Um, and so we can look at kind of different things um, that I might want to set up my dog with. So let's say I were to take a trip to Europe. Let's say I really, really, really wanted to go to Switzerland and I didn't have a place to put croissant. And I really wanted to make sure that she was happy and that she had a comfortable place to stay. I could say, okay, I want boarding for her. So I could type in my local zip code or address. I could say what days I wanna drop her off. I could say what days I wanna pick her up. And then I can specify her exact size um, to ensure that, to ensure that she has, um, that to ensure that the uh, person who's taking care of her can at, can properly take care of her and who will feed her properly. So let's just type in my address real quick or my zip code real quick. Let's just say I want to drop her off on, let's just say I want to take a Christmas vacation. So let's say I want to leave on the 22nd. And let's say I'm going to get back in January, let's say January 3rd. And she's a small dog. She's uh, 12 pounds, which we just found out yesterday. And then we can hit search. So here we have all the different kinds of dog sitters and other things of that nature. Um, and I can go through, I can read their profile, I can see if they're verified by Rover, and I can see how much they charge per night. So let's look at Liliana A here. So Liliana has boarding for $90 a night. Um, Drop-in visits are $32 per visit. Doggy daycare is $72. And the dog walking is $31. So here we can look at her reviews. We can look at the kind of animals that she takes care of. So Liliana um, can host small dogs. She can host big medium dogs. And then she can host big dogs. Um, and then Liliana at the same time can um, come to my house. Um, she can watch the dog at my house if you feel comfortable with that. Um, and once again, she specifies kind of like the dog options that she has um, that she'll watch. And then we can also check her availability. So right now in December, Liliana is very much free uh, to take care of any animals that I might have um, in the upcoming future. So here we can take a look at different kinds of photos of her dogs. We can look at that she's um, verified. We can look at her reviews. We see out of 45 re reviews, she's got five stars. Um, she's got 14 years of experience, which experience is the number one thing that you need to look at when setting up your dog with a caretaker because experience matters. Um, if they don't have a lot of experience through Rover, that might be a bad sign that they might have just started and they might not be a professional. Um, but at the same time, if they have lower views, that might mean that they don't adequately take care of your animal um, when you are leaving them. So making sure that, <coughs> that your animal is comfortable and fit with the right person is very important um, when leaving your dog with somebody um, with somebody through the Rover, uh, through the Rover app. So we can see. We can see kind of her uh, kind of her description. So Liliana has two pets. Um, she has a puppy, um, and then she also has uh, she also has I believe she has two dogs. Yes, or she has one dog and a short-haired cat. 
So we can see, okay, Liliana has experience taking care of animals. She has a dog and she has a cat. So she's well-versed in taking care of both because she has experience with animals of, with animals herself. Um, so we can see kind of like her description, um, kind of why she does this, why she wants to take care of your animal. And we can also see that she has experience. Um, she has that oral, ed oral medication administration, senior dog experience, and can provide daily exercise to ensure that your dog stays fit while you are away. Um, so she, a little bit about Liliana and her home is that she lives in the home. It's a no smoking home, no children are present, um, has an unfenced yard and has one dog and one cat. So these might be things that you see as important when dropping off your dog uh, or cat. And as you can see here, we can take a look at uh, Liliana's animals. So here we can see Charlie, her little uh, Shih Tzu Terrier, and then we can look at Euclid, which is her do domestic short-haired cat. So we can also see roughly the general location of where Liliana lives. Once you actually connect with Liliana, um, Liliana will give you her address, but for her safety, um, uh, for her safety, Rover um, kind of just makes a general area as to where she's located. Um, to ensure that she stays safe and that you stay safe uh, when talking to her. Also, we can see different types of things that may surround her. So Liliana, it looks like her general area, she lives very close to the beach and very close to a park. So these are both two very good things when looking for a dog sitter because Liliana might be able to take your animal to the beach and have fun with them at the beach, run them around at the beach, or if you're, or, or if she's not looking to go to the beach, she can take them to the park and they can enjoy the park and see all the amenities at the park, uh, get to know other animals and things of that nature. So you know that your animal will be well kept, uh, well kept um, when you are away um, on your vacation. Like I will be on, a, like I'll be away on my vacation uh, very shortly. So if we wanted to see, if we want to see, if we want to connect with Liliana, I could hit connect with Liliana. I'd set up an account, uh, provide my information. Uh, I'd provide information on croissant and then and then Zillow, and then Rover would get me connected with uh, Liliana to make sure that my dog is properly taken care of. Not only does Rover do boarding and they also do house sitting. Hold on, but yeah. <laughs> We can also look at things like house sitting. Um, we can also look at things like drop-in visits. And we can also see things like doggy daycare and then also dog walking. Um, so things like doggy daycare. If you're working long shifts and you don't think you'll be home in time to take your dog out, or if everybody in the house is gone and nobody can take care of the dog, doggy daycare might be the right option. Essentially, what doggy daycare is, is you're just leaving the dog there for the day. You're not leaving it overnight. You're just leaving them there for the day so that they can be walked, they can be fed, they can give, be given their medication, because somebody might not be in the house to be able to take care of them. The dog walking experience, you can set this up regularly. So if I wanted croissant to be walked every single day, but I didn't have the time to walk her, I could set up a dog walking service um, where somebody could come by, stop by every single day and walk her at specific times that I that I choose um, for croissant to be walked at. So this is just a really easy way, especially for somebody who might be older, who can't necessarily walk their dog. They can build a bond with the caretaker. Uh, they can build a bond with the caretaker of the animal and they can ensure that their animal stays fit and that their animal gets their daily walks. So you can also specify kind of how long the walk is. So let's say I don't have time to take Chrisan out for a walk, but I still want her to go on, let's say, let's say an hour and a half walk because I really want Chrisan to get that exercise. I could say, okay, I want this, this dog walker to take her out for an hour and a half walk her around, run her, take her to a dog park, do whatever she has to in order to make sure that croissant is very tired. Um, it just kind of makes sure that you have a certified user um, and a certified person um, in order to make sure that your dog is safe. Because of course, while, while contacting somebody on Craigslist might be a viable option, you never really know what their intentions are. You never really know anything of that nature and Rover, make sure that they have, that their background is cleared 
and that they have experience taking care of animals and that these people actually love animals. Um, if they weren't working for Rover, they wouldn't love animals um, because when working for Rover, it's kind of built into the job of, of knowing how to take care of an animal and actually giving them that experience. There's also the option of dog training through Rover. Um, so if your dog um, has some issues, like croissant is not very good on the leash, um, I could say, okay, I want a dog trainer. I want croissant to, add, to learn how to walk on a leash. And I can make sure that that dog trainer actually teaches her and make sure, and um, so I don't have an issue with her pulling me or lacking behind. Um, and so that I can make sure that she is right next to me and that she stays a good little walker like she is because I don't actually have issues with croissant walking. Uh, I just needed that as an example. So here as well, we can see a brief description of everything that uh, Rover has to offer. We can look at different types of reviews. We can look at the search, the book and pay, and then you can just relax because you can relax knowing that your dog is safe. And there's also 24 seven support. So if something goes wrong and you, you are out of the country, like I will be out of the country and I can't necessarily get in contact with, let's say, let's say something happens to Liliana and I can't get in contact with Liliana. Um, I can contact support and then they can contact Liliana or they can contact anybody in, in the surrounding area. Like let's say Liliana were to have a heart attack. They can contact medical support and then you can make sure that your dog is safe and that the, that the other person is safe on the other end. Um, also, if you have an issue, um, things like, things like, um, things like getting your money back or telling, telling Rover that you have a problem with the person that your dog stayed with, this is a great way to do it because that way uh, Rover knows exactly what's wrong and they can help you fix that. So with Rover, there's an app or you can use it on computers um, just like I am now and you can set it up and uh, do all that, all that good stuff with Rover. So if I were to sign up, sign in, I could, I could, uh, be, I could uh, sign up for croissant to be taken care of. Or if I really wanted to, I could become a pet sitter. So, so I could say, okay, since I, since I am, uh, since I am able to take care of pets and I have experience taking care of croissant, I can get paid to pay, play with pets. So if you're looking for a way to make a passive income, um, and just to kind of have fun with it and create your own schedule, becoming a Rover, uh, uh, dog caretaker or cat caretaker, caretaker might be the option for you. So you can get started. You can create your own schedule and prices. You can offer different kinds of services and you can set the age size and kind of things of that nature. Um, and then also uh, Rover does provide $25,000 in vet care reimbursement. So if your dog that you're taking care of, or if your, your own animal has an issue, Rover will take care of $25,000 worth of those vet visits before you start having to pay yourself, um, which is a really nice option because a lot of the times when um, when families leave their pets somewhere that they don't recognize, their pets either become depressed or they become sick because they don't know how to react because it's such a new change for them. So always making sure that you, that you have the proper vet care and have the right amount of money to take care of that pet is really important to make sure that pet is happy and healthy no matter what. And to ensure that you, when you come back from your trip, like I'm gonna come back from my trip, I can make sure that Croissant has stayed up to date, that she's on her diet, that she's taking her meds and that she had a good time because that's the most important thing is your pet is your best friend. So you wanna make sure that your pet had a fun time while you were gone <clears throat> and that your pet was properly taken care of rather than, um, rather than having issues um, when during their stay so services here's here's the services and safety is always first so with rover of course taking care of the animal is always is always what is important to make sure that they have the support that they need um, when they're being taken care of and there are the things of that nature so being play being paid to play with pets might be the route for you or you can just see their services um, so the services go back to um, the dog care, the drop-in drop visits, the house sitting, and things of that nature. <laughs> you can also search through the different types of um, sitters. 
Um, so here are the sitters in my area. So if I were to look in my local local area, let's just say I live, let's just say I live here in this random area that I just chose. Um, I can see that all these people are around me and that all these people are able to take care of my animal. And then we can also see their reviews. We can see who they are and we can make sure that, that uh, they are adequate enough to take care of my pet. Um, and then we can also look at their experience and things of that nature, which is super important. Um, and then you can also create different kinds of filters. So let's say I want somebody who can take care of croissant because she's small. Uh, and let's say I want to specify that I don't want to go above, let's say I don't want to go above $100 a night. Oops. Let's say 101 because I can't select it very easily. So let's say below 100, uh, the minimum is a dollar a night and then the maximum is $101 a night. Um, and then I can say, then I could say either has a house, which excludes apartments. Um, I could say has a front yard, uh, has a fence yard, which means that um, my animal will be safe when they are in the yard rather than an open yard where they could run away or something like that. Um, and let's say I want to have, let's say I want, um, let's say I want her, I want them to accept only one client at a time which means they'll only take one dog at a time so that that dog gets the most attention on them, um, especially when it comes to croissant. She doesn't like to be necessarily necessarily around other animals, so tolerate it, but at the same time, she does like it when it's just a one-on-one -on -one experience. Um, so here we can select only takes one client at a time, doesn't own a dog, doesn't own a cat, and then we can kind of specify, okay, here's pet sitters around my area, um, and then also has no children. Um, you see with uh, with pet sitters, um, if they might have children, the child might be mean to the dog or the child just might not know what the specifications of the dog are. And then that could cause issues later on. Um, so it's really nice that they have that option to specify whether or not they have a child. Um, and then we can also do look at additional services like uh, puppy care, cat care, um, accepts um, unspayed female dogs, which essentially just means um, that the dog the dog can reproduce and then at the same time, um, just look at other spe other specifications. So it's really important to consider all options when taking when either taking care of a dog or when you are wanting to give your dog to somebody else to take care of uh, while you are out at work, out on a trip, or doing anything you want, or just dog walking. Like dog walking is a very big thing. Um, so you can specify everything with Rover and make sure that you have the proper experience um, when your animal is being taken care of. Um, other than that, there's not really much to go on with Rover. Um, Rover is just a really easy way for you to kind of make sure that your animal is taken care of. Um, and Croissant has loved her babysitters in the past. Um, so Rover is a really great experience for animals. Um, so other than that, once again, my name is Brandon Faulkner. I'm an intern for Village Core. For other events like this, be sure to check out villagecore.org or check out our YouTube channel. Um, and thank you so much for watching.